So vanilla OS is the new Linux um, that is based on Ubuntu and runs the GNOME desktop environment. And as you can see, it looks quite good. It has a lot of features and uh, it's quite smooth as well. And the installation for this OS will be at the end of the video. So do make sure you watch the full length. It, I will also show you some tips on some for the issues you may face. The first time you boot after the installation, you will see this screen. And I want to just remind you that you need to like go through this setup screen, install the necessary packages, and also if you want, you can also install the LibreOffice for your office work or uh, any of the other applications that you want. Go ahead with it and install it. Also the codecs for your media player maybe. Um, so you have to make sure you do that. And after you just uh, put down your password, you can install it. Um, I already done that so I'm going to skip it but I just wanted to remind you and throughout the process you need to have internet connection either internet or Wi-Fi so make sure you also do that it's going to reboot and everything will be finalized it's going to make it much easier for you on the like during your usage so you can see the quick toggles have changed um, it's like the for the new GNOME and the Ubuntu it looks very good uh, similar to that that of Android 12 or 13 like I find it similar I don't know about you and now you have also the screenshot icon and you can see the interface it looks quite unique like your android phone or iphone and it is made to look like that and you have a built-in screen recorder as well which is quite handy i'm using a third party obs studio but this is a really good addition to have and you can click your screen or window and it's quite good the quick toggles and it's always like the big changes if you see and I'm going to the setting this very basics um, but we have to check out the new wallpapers that have been added and it's a new OS so the wallpapers are new some of them are from the Ubuntu and a lot of them you can see that has the both the light mode and the dark mode and they look very good you can see the, the colors and the gradient um, so yes we have that And this is the for the logo, the vanilla OS. Um, it has both light mode and dark mode. And you can check out the transition. Looks looks quite good. And you also have option for the balance mode or power mode in the to quick toggles itself. Um, and uh, in the dark mode, you can see how the menu look. It's dark gray, not fully black and uh, you can go into the multitasking options the recents using the activity option or you can press the start menu and this is the app launcher and you can just show see how it all looks in the dark mode and in general the performance has been really great you can see i'm um, just pressing the buttons continuously and it's not having any issues though it's not a very heavy task but i think it's the animations and everything is quite smooth and it's quite good looking uh, in the windows option we have option to enable the minimize and the maximize button this was de uh, disabled by default but you can enable it from here makes it quite easy and all the general options for general and you can check it out all the different options for display sound battery you can also enable the battery percentage so if you're on the laptop it's going to be really helpful if you are using it without the plug you can add user and change password from this option and i had an issue with logging in uh, which uh, i find a fix i will tell you about in the installation part and in the above you can see my system information which is the ryzen 5 2500 8gb of ram so not the best and it's still working pretty fine you can also check for updates and and uh, check out the version and everything from this page and one of all the uh, like the best thing that i found is uh, uh, the app market which it is has and it's not really it's not a small app market it has a vast library of applications and you can access it from the app launcher or from the application menu and uh, i really like it when the linux uh, like the distros have the app market built in it makes it easier for the beginner or new user to uh, to just install applications you know just browse around and install applications as they want 
and you can see the app the library is huge we have the i think it's from the flat pack i think because of that and one thing is that it takes a long time to load one section if you are moving around different uh, sections but once it does you can see the library is very huge and i've installed the obs studio from here and we have the get in life and the gimp you know the basic linux that everybody uses and it's good to see this and i really do like the app market and as we see this in the pop os as well and from here you can also install drivers and if you have any media card you can also install drivers and if you want to install applications from the terminal um, i would suggest you to go to this website for flat hub and find the applications that you want to install scroll down and uh, you will see the installation command you know you can just copy it directly from here and then go back to your terminal and then just paste the command just press enter and just uh, say yes to everything and it's going to install the, uh, the the application that you want and if it's just traditional way if for some reason if the app market is not working uh, this may be not available is a less chance but there's a chance you can see the google chrome is right in our activate in the app launcher and here we have it it's quite easy i think it's quite good so you can also use this way to install applications of your choice and we also have option to search for applications here so if you're looking for a specific application that is not available there you can search here so for a beginner it's going to be really easy and very good as well And also I want to talk about some advanced options which uh, are like this is an immutable Linux desktop so you have option um, if you do not want to like do any changes make changes to the core application you can use the APX to make a container and you, all the applications will be in that container only not outside also we have AB root so we have two partitions of same system A and B so you can install an applications on one partition and it will not be affected the other partition so it's quite of advanced stuff you can go to the website and check out and read in detail for basic users it's not going to be of that important but uh, it's good to have it for advanced users definitely go check that out and uh, for the file manager it is the basic one but uh, it is updated with the new gnome and you can see the adaptability is quite good and fluid so that's always good to see we also see something called the extension manager you can launch it from the app launcher and this is a collection of uh, various uh, tweaks uh, for the theme and everything you will see that in many linux distro so the basic one is the theme so once i enable it from this you can also choose different colors and options but this is the magenta one you can see how uh, it has changed uh, the colors can see this one is a basic one but uh, we have some advanced options as well and you can see the most famous one by popularity and uh, lots of option uh, some uh, option that i do not even know what it does for the bluetooth quick connect or some status bar change and you can browse and install um, if you know what it does So I'm going to try to install a desktop clock widget so you can search for it. So if I search for clock, you can see the second option is desktop clock. I'm going to simply install it. Then install. And you can see we have a clock on the desktop as easy as that. It's a really good option to add in here. Um, so now let's uh, move on to see how to install the vanilla OS. So coming on to our windows. We will go to the website for the vanilla OS and uh, we will uh, just click on the vanilla uh, get vanilla and download the assets or the mirrors. The latest version is the 22.10 and we also need the balina etcher which will be used to create the bootable drive. You can also use Rufus. Um, I find balina to be quite easy. So just choose your file the, that we have just downloaded. And we also need a pen drive, so 8GB, 4GB, I think it should work. I will choose the uh, the ISO file, we will select our USB. 
and just uh, hit the flash and it's going to start the flashing process um, this can take a while depending on the speed and everything and once it's done um, uh, we need to power off our system and then press the boot key plus power key together and once you do that you will see this option and we will select our pen drive so the second option in this uh, and uh, we will select the first option which is try or install vanilla OS select that it's going to show you the vanilla home screen here we are and now we have two options try vanilla OS or install it so we can go ahead and try it if you want I'm just going to go ahead and install it so double click I guess and we need to select our language and the the basic the basic setup so go through it quickly here is asking us to select a disk uh, it is showing by default my the the drive that I have the main one and you can configure it uh, you can see the multi boot installation is disabled so currently you cannot dual boot it so we'll have to like replace our windows so it will erase everything so there's no dual boot option so if you're only sure and you have files backup then only proceed as it's going to delete everything and then you can just continue now we need to create our username and password so quickly do that and now you just check everything is all right and you can just click on confirm I hope the dual boot option gets enabled quickly so many people more can join in and try it out and after done it is going to ask you to reboot and after reboot I had this issue with login and so I had to enable the on screen button and you can do that by clicking on the accessibility shortcut and that's enable screen keyboard and then you should be able to log in by using the on screen keyboard so that is the solution that I found but it may not be happening to you so so yes that was how you can install the vanilla OS and uh, also I told you in the starting to go through the pro process make sure, you should, uh, make sure to do that and that was it for this video I hope you like this and I'll see you in the next one